Have you ever wondered why massive ships don't simply sail straight under South America, seamlessly linking the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans? Today, we're diving deep into the intriguing reasons behind this geographic and engineering conundrum. Let's explore how natural forces, history, and human innovation have combined to shape one of the most challenging passages for maritime travel. Picture this, a colossal ocean liner charting a direct route beneath the entire South American continent, bypassing treacherous currents and unpredictable weather. At first glance, it might seem like a shortcut that would save time and fuel. However, the reality is far more complex, and it all begins with the sheer scale and structure of the continent itself. The immense scale of South America. South America is not just another landmass on the map. It's a continent forged over millions of years through tectonic forces and volcanic activity. The very ground beneath our feet is the result of colliding plates and the rise of mountain ranges like the Andes. This colossal buildup of rock and soil creates an unyielding barrier that stretches from the northern tip of Colombia all the way to the southern reaches of Tierra del Fuego. Ships, by their very design, are meant to glide across vast bodies of water. They rely on deep, navigable routes to avoid running aground or encountering shallow areas that could damage their hulls. When you consider that South America rises dramatically above sea level in many areas, particularly along the western coast with its towering Andes, it becomes clear that there is simply no natural underwater passage that could support the free movement of ships beneath the continent. The geologic forces at play. Understanding why ships can't pass under South America starts with the continent's geologic history. Millions of years ago, tectonic plates were in constant motion, colliding and pulling apart, reshaping the Earth's surface. The South American plate, in particular, has been a major player in this grand drama. As it moved, it collided with the Nazca plate, causing the uplift of the Andes mountain range. This tectonic collision did more than create majestic peaks. It fundamentally altered the layout of the land and sea. The forces involved in this process pushed vast amounts of rock upward, forming a physical barrier that extends not just above ground, but deep below the surface as well. The underlying crust in this region is thicker and more stable than the surrounding oceanic crust. For ships to navigate underneath, there would have to be a natural channel or gap in this immense structure, something that simply does not exist. Ocean depth and navigable waterways. The concept of navigable waterways is central to understanding why ships must follow the routes they do. For a ship to travel safely, it must remain in waters that are deep enough to accommodate its draft the vertical distance between the waterline and the bottom of the hull. Underneath South America, however, the ocean floor is anything but uniform. In many areas, especially near the edge of the continent, the seabed rises steeply towards the land, creating shallow regions that would be disastrous for large vessels. Moreover, even if one were to imagine a hypothetical tunnel or channel deep under the continent, the natural formation of the sea floor would not support the kind of constant deep water required. Instead, the ocean floor in these regions is characterized by sudden drops and rises, underwater ridges, and valleys. These irregularities make it impossible to have a continuous deep water passage suitable for modern ships. The role of the Southern Ocean and extreme weather there's another critical piece of the puzzle, the influence of the Southern Ocean. The waters off the southern tip of South America are infamous for their extreme weather conditions. Known for howling winds, massive waves, and unpredictable currents, this area, especially around Cape Horn and the Drake Passage, poses significant challenges even for the most well-prepared vessels. When ships navigate these waters, they must contend with the powerful forces of nature. 
If there were any natural passage under South America, it would have to emerge in these hostile environments, where the combination of deep sea trenches and surface storms would jeopardize safe travel. This is one of the reasons why historical navigators were so cautious about attempting any direct route that might even hint at a passage under the continent. They learned early on that nature's obstacles were not easily circumvented. Historical attempts and the quest for a shortcut. Before modern engineering made significant strides in linking oceans, sailors and explorers were always on the lookout for shorter and safer routes. The lure of bypassing the dangerous circumnavigation of South America's tip was strong. However, geography was an unforgiving teacher. Early explorers quickly discovered that the natural layout of the continent left no room for a shortcut underneath. Instead, the only viable alternatives were routes that went around the continent's extremities, either navigating the treacherous waters of the Drake Passage or, or taking the long winding route around Cape Horn. Both options presented their own set of hazards, from unpredictable weather to rocky shorelines. Engineering marvels, the Panama Canal. In light of these challenges, human ingenuity stepped in to create an artificial solution to the problem of connecting the two great oceans. The Panama Canal stands as one of the greatest engineering feats in modern history. Instead of trying to create a natural passage where none existed, engineers constructed a massive canal that cuts through the narrow isthmus of Panama. This canal allows ships to move between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans without having to brave the extreme conditions at the southern tip of South America. The construction of the Panama Canal was not only a triumph of engineering, but also a practical solution to a problem that nature itself could not resolve. By using a system of locks and artificial channels, the canal overcomes the differences in sea level and the rugged terrain that would otherwise make direct ocean passage impossible. Tectonic activity and future possibilities. Even as technology has advanced, the fundamental geologic structure of South America remains unchanged. The tectonic forces that created the Andes continue to shape the region, and the stability of the continent's crust ensures that no natural underwater passage will form. While speculative ideas about creating tunnels or artificial passages under continents occasionally capture the imagination, the practical challenges are immense. Constructing a tunnel large enough for modern ships would require overcoming not only the physical barrier of millions of years of geologic buildup, but also the logistical, economic, and safety challenges of such a project. The pressures deep underground, the need for constant maintenance, and the unpredictable nature of tectonic activity would all pose significant risks. The natural order and human navigation. It's important to understand that the limitations imposed by nature are not obstacles to be lamented, but rather features of our planet's intricate design. The very forces that make it impossible for ships to pass under South America have given rise to some of the most beautiful and awe-inspiring landscapes on Earth. From the towering Andes to the sprawling rainforests, these natural wonders remind us that while human innovation can sometimes overcome nature's challenges, there is a balance that must be maintained. Ships cannot pass under South America because the continent's massive geological structure, shaped by millions of years of tectonic activity, creates an insurmountable barrier. The absence of a naturally deep, continuous underwater passage coupled with the harsh conditions of the Southern Ocean and the dramatic topography of the region means that any shortcut beneath the continent remains impossible. Thank you for joining me on this deep dive into the reasons behind one of nature's most fascinating puzzles. If you enjoyed learning about the interplay between geology, navigation, and history, please give this video a like, share it with fellow enthusiasts, and subscribe to the channel for more insightful explorations.